Yo, what's good? What's up? Yo, I hate this part of my mustache. I swear I done, I done trimmed it like three days in a row and it's still covering my lip. <sighs> I might shave it. I might shave it, man. I might I might just shave the whole thing off. Not the beard, though. Just the mustache. I don't even know. What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. But uh, I tried to go live on here to see, uh, talk to y'all, communicate with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And then... um. Also get videos from y'all Which y'all want me to react to But I don't know YouTube live was tripping So go ahead I'm gonna be making videos For the next Couple hours Make sure y'all comment What y'all want me to see You know what I'm saying uh, I forgot I, I could, Hold on Let me see Who commented And said watch this Joe Rogan Let me see Let me see Hold on Hold on Hold on Hold on That was Kale Cannon Kaylee Or Kale I don't know But I'm about to watch this Joe Rogan Breaking into the White House why would anybody do that? Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get jumped up in here. You know what I'm saying? I swear. I'm about to shave this off, y'all. I'm sw I swear. I'm about to shave this off. If we get... It, bro, I'm about to, I swear I'm about to shave it, bro. If we get to like... If we get to like 4,000... I mean, not 4,000. 400 subscribers tonight. I'm shaving this off. It just keep coming over my lip, bro. It's annoying. Okay, let's get into the video. First time a girl was guarding the front door by herself. <laughs> What are you trying to say that women can't do everything men can do? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's a, that seems sexist, right? People say you're sexist. No, it's not sexist. Here's why it's not sexist. Because men can't even do everything men can do. <laughs> See, there's no physical equality, folks. That's why we have the Olympics. Because there's people that can do some shit that you and I can't do. Right. One of those things is guarding the fucking White House. <laughs> I know I can't guard the White House. You know who I know? Because I met Shaquille O'Neal and his dick is where my face is. That's not equality. That's not white privilege. What? Listen, if the White House is experiencing a shack attack, I'm the wrong dude to save the world. I did Fear Factor with Shaq. If we were holding hands, it'd be like a six-year-old at the park with his dad. We're barely the same thing. So do I think women should guard the White House? No, I don't think I should either. It's not sexist to say that women can't do big physical labor things as good as giant men can. But people will tell you it is. Well, I'm not sexist. As a matter of fact, my favorite people are all female. I have a wife and I have three daughters. They're my favorite people in the world. But I could beat the fuck out of all of them. Okay? Listen, if they're guarding the door, I'm getting in. I don't mean to sound cocky. But I'm just real confident. I could fuck them up if I had the flu. Okay? Yeah, we're different. We're different. I could beat on my cat, too. I'm not proud of it. I'll just tell you what's up. You want to bet money? Bet money on me. I'll fuck that cat up. Most likely. Cats are fucking know. weird like that, man. Yeah, cat. I, was I don't petting know. I my cat once and he bit me. I was like, whoa, we gonna do this? What the fuck are we doing here, bitch? Got a little nervous. Got a little nervous. Women can do everything men can do. This guy's a piece of shit. We're leaving. Too much information is going in that I don't agree with. The guy said it was total bullshit. Total bullshit. How'd that girl get that job? I'll tell you how that girl got that job. Because someone let her have that job. Which means either there were a bunch of guys that were trying to fuck her, or her boss was a chick and she hated her. Either one's possible. Look, if there was a bunch of guys that were trying to fuck her, that makes total sense. If there's one hot girl and she's working with five guys in an office, no work's getting done in that office. There's, that office is now just an audition to see which guy gets to fuck her. And each one of those guys would just slowly start to morph to figure out what this girl likes. <laughs> Man, become an octopus that tries to fit its way through a keyhole. I gotta be a fucking wife. There's gotta be a fucking wife. Damn. You got this girl's like, I could guard the front door. Oh, you could definitely guard the door. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Over time, if, one, if this woman doesn't sleep with one of these men and claim them, over time, these guys will just start morphing. And they'll just start saying ridiculous, preposterous shit. Like, Debbie wants to guard the front door. Do you have a problem with that? 
No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I think women are amazing. <laughs> Plus, I'm vegan. <laughs> they will wear patchouli. They will do what the fuck they have to do. Next thing you know, poor fucking Debbie at the front door. Why am I alone? <laughs> the whole story is so bananas. And it's one of my favorite stories. I'm going to give you the whole story of the break in the White House with no edits and no, no comic exaggerations. This is the real story. How is a lot he of people think the there's mic? some grand conspiracy. There's some cabal of evil geniuses that's pulling the strings on everyone in America. It's most likely that people are just dumb as fuck <laughs> in all sorts of walks of life. So I'm going to tell this is the story. This is the real story about the person who broke into the White House. First of all, People are always worried, the government's checking out my emails, bro. The government's watching us all the time. <laughs> the, they pulled this guy over two months before he broke in the White House. He had four handguns, two rifles, and a machete with him. They didn't even watch him. He had a map. On the map, the map was Washington, and it had an X where the White House is. Is this real? They're like, you're good to go. Two months later, this motherfucker broke into the White House. And why did he break in the White House? Why do you break in the White House ever? Because you want to die. You don't, you, that's like a suicide run. That's the only reason why someone runs toward the White House. If you had to ask someone, like, what kind of security do you think they have at the White House? Oh, dude. dude. <laughs> they got snipers on every corner. They got <laughs> lasers on the grass. If you get too far, they open up the door. You drop right into jail. No? Turns out they don't even have a dog. They just, they just fucking run. The guy who made it into the White House, he had 800 rounds of ammunition in his car. Left out there, took a knife. That's the guy who wants to die. He's just sitting in his fucking car going, fuck the government, and fuck my ex-wife, and fuck everybody. I'm going to do this. Fuck you. Just, oh, my God, I'm doing it. Oh, my God, I'm doing it. Thinking with every step, this is gonna be the last step of my life. No, this is gonna be the last step of my life. Oh, this. We get to the front door. It's unlocked. Is this real? He opens it. There's a girl there by herself. So Max turns to the ground. <laughs> he just starts running through the hall. Ah! He's probably going, "Why am I alive?" He's probably thinking. He was in the inside for minutes. For minutes, running around. He got tackled by an off-duty officer. What the? He's probably thinking, I wanted to die. I don't want to go to fucking jail. Will somebody please shoot me? Then he's probably pissed. Like, where are my tax dollars going? What kind of security are you fucking people running in this place? <laughs> Imagine when Obama found out a girl was guarding him. It's probably like, everybody, everybody. Not that much diversity. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a little Are older. Playing fucking fairy tale games here? <laughs> Obama's got a hard job because he's the first president that's ever been around while Google was here. You know, he could Google his own name. If he gets crazy in the middle of the night, right? So let me see what the people have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Obama is uh Obama oh. sounds so funny. <laughs> None of those fucking things. Freaking out shit. <sighs> Probably thinking, why the fuck did I do this? I think the guy who broke in the White House and Obama probably have a lot in common. In that they went for it, but they probably never really thought they were getting in there. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quit once you're the president. Like the moment That's Obama true. actually got in office, like, good morning, Mr. President, probably like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I do this for? I didn't think I was actually going to get in. <sighs> I can't sleep. I'm freaking out. Everybody wants to kill me. <sighs> Sheesh. Who the fuck is guarding me? Looks out in the hallways, a girl taking selfies. That's messed up. 
That'd be the greatest selfie of all time. Girl with her ass out, duck lips, in the background, dudes breaking in the White House. <laughs> That's a wreck. You know I'm not making this up. We've all seen this. This is recognizable. Where do girls get their poses from? Damn, that's the end of the video. That was a funny video, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, uh, Kaylee Cannon Kale. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. We're gonna go with Cannon. But uh, yeah, if y'all got some more videos, make sure y'all put them in the, not the description. Put them in the comment box, the comment section. He said, "It's a woman." <laughs> Yo, yo, that's hilarious, bruh. Oh, shoot.